So I'm going to take you through the profiles of each of the cardinals who will be in the Electoral College after this August's consistory. Uh, the Electoral College who will elect the next Pope consists of cardinals who have not reached the age of 80. So it'll be interesting time. Maybe one of these cardinals will be the next Pope. Maybe there will be another consistory in the future. We don't know. Um, but I suppose it's very interesting now to become familiar with these men who will be the next Pope. Anyway, enjoy this. God bless. Take care. Please like and share this video and let me know what you think in the comments. Take care. Bye bye. So we just have a look at the last 20 popes here. So I've just done a list up here of the last 20 popes since 1675. That was the last, um, that was the earliest of these popes so that we can just understand the profile, the average age and so forth. So the average age a pope gets elected is 65. And Pope Benedict has been the oldest pope elected in nearly 200 years as far as I can see. I didn't go back too far. Now I know people live longer these days and Pope Francis was elected at 76. We had Pope John the 23rd elected at 77 but generally speaking, generally speaking, popes are elected in their 60s. And another thing to note about who will be the next pope, it generally doesn't be the Secretary of State. So the last we had Pope Pius the Twelfth here, who was elected. He was Secretary of State, but generally speaking, the Secretary of State uh, does not tend to be elected. So we'll see. Uh, interesting time. So I've put together a list of all of the different um, cardinals in the Electoral College, and we're going to go through these. I've co coloured some of them, some of them in red because. Um, you know, they, they work in the Vatican and they have a profile in the church. And generally speaking, it's cardinals who are who are held up, who, are, who have a profile in the church. In the past, it would have been the Archbishop of Milan, the Archbishop of, um, of Venice or uh, somebody in the Vatican. So it would have been usually somebody who is known. So this is an interesting time. So I'm just going to walk you through the profile of each individual cardinals just so that we become familiar with them and uh, you know it's a bit of trivia in a way but it's um, interesting to know who are these pro uh, cardinals and how do we think they will vote in the next conclave. The next cardinal we're going to look at is Cardinal Paulo Cesar Costa. Um, he's from Brazil and he's 55 years old. So from the Diocese of Brasilia he was appointed 21st of October 2020 and installed the 12th of December 2020. His ordination was the 5th of December 1992 and he was consecrated bishop the 5th of February 2011. Uh, he was born the 20th of July 1967 in Valença, Brazil. He completed his studies in philosophy in Nossa Senhora do Mor Divino Seminary in Petrópolis and his theology studies in the Higher Institute of Theology of the Archdiocese of Rio de Janeiro. He then studied at the Pontifical Gregorian University in Rome from 1996 to 2001, earning a licentiate and a doctorate in dogmatic theology. He was ordained a priest for the Diocese of Valencia in 1992. He worked as the parish vicar for uh, Paribas do Sul in 1993, pastor for the parish of São Sebastião dos Ferreiros in Vasuras from 1994 to 1996, pastor of the parish of Santa Rosa de Lima in Valencia 2001-2006, director and professor of the Department of Theology of the Pontifical Catholic University of Rio de Janeiro from 2007-2010, and rector of the Paul VI Interdiocesan Seminary and director of the Paul VI Institute of Philosophy and Theology in Nova Iguazu from 2006-2010. 
In 2010, Pope Benedict appointed him as Titular Bishop Oescus and Titular Arch and Auxiliar Bishop for the Archdiocese of Rio de Janeiro. He received his Episcopal confirma- consecration on the 5th of February 2011. He was named to the Commission of the Doctrine of the Faith of the Brazilian Bishops' Conference in June of that year. He was Vicar General for the Archdiocese and led the suburban vicariate while filling various administrative roles. He was a member of the University Council of PUC Rio and Fundação um, Mantenadora Padre Arqueta. Arqueta. And he taught in the Archdiocesan, Archdiocesan Seminary and Puc Rio. In, on 22nd of June 2016, Pope Francis named uh, Costa Bishop of São Carlos and was installed there on the 6th of August. He was named member of the Pontific- Pontifical Commission of Latin America on the 20th of April 2020 and the Pontifical Council for Promoting Christian Unity on the 4th of July 2020. On the 21st of October 2020, uh, Pope Francis appointed him Archbishop of Brasilia and he was installed there on the 12th of December. While the Brazilian uh, Episcopal Conference has named, he is named as a member of of the Permanent Council of the Episcopal Commission for Culture and Education, on November 2019, he was elected to the Board of Consulting Bishops who guide the work of Salem. So that is uh, Archbishop Paulo Cesar Costa, who will be created Cardinal uh, this August. And who would he vote for as Pope of all of the, the various candidates? Well, it's hard to really to know. Um, so it'll be interesting to see who, who who will be the person that he would most prefer as the next pope. I don't think he would be pope. He's too young. He's just been created a cardinal. Um, he's not in his sixties, so and he doesn't have any profile at all in Rome. So doubt he would be ever be elected pope in the next conclave. However, um. Let's let's remember here. There are twenty. He has twenty four five more years in the electoral college of of cardinals, so he could be a key person in subsequent conclaves. Um, I I don't know who he would vote for. I don't know his his uh, how. Uh, 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 I don't know really know who he'd vote for, but um, he seems to be the mold of Pope Francis. And so let's, it'll be interesting times. Anyway, so this is the profile of Paulo Cesar Costa, 55 from Brazil, who will be created Cardinal this August.